Hey, it's Patrick Knett. I hope you're having a great day. It has been a little over three months since my last YouTube video, which is by far the biggest break I've ever taken from YouTube since I started my channel about a year and a half ago. And over these past few months, I've gone through a lot of really, really big changes in my life. It's been definitely one of the most transformative points in my life. So I'm creating this video to, first of all, kind of get things back in motion, get back into creating videos. I really want to you know, get the process down again. I want to be consistently creating new content, creating new videos, being more creative, creating all kinds of new things. And aside from that, I also want to create this video to kind of talk about those changes that I mentioned, you know, all these, you know, really big changes that have happened in my life. And I love making these little life update videos because, you know, it's not only am I like documenting my life and I can look back and see my life changing and see my life progressing, but I'm also like, you know, building a connection with you guys by sharing what's going on in my life. You know, like I, you know, put in on my YouTube channel, on my, uh, on my banner, you know, it says, join me on the journey to success and happiness. And I'm really just trying to navigate throughout my own life, trying to put things in order, trying to make a lot of progress and share that with you guys as well and help you guys to find your own version of success and happiness as well. So, like I said, just wanted to, to first talk about, you know, some of these big changes that have been going on in my life because my life right now is literally completely different than it was a few months ago. Like everything, my day-to-day -day life, like it's completely, completely different life. And, you know, one of the most significant changes that has happened to me over the past couple months is I got a new job again. So I was working at AT&T before, uh, if you guys saw my some of my earlier videos. But that ended up not being a very positive experience for me at all. I just really did not feel valued as an employee, like pretty much at all. I kind of got put into uh, some bad situations, which I didn't really enjoy or appreciate. So uh, in me working there and being unhappy with it actually drove me to apply to a whole bunch of other jobs and actually got a much, much better job in tech support. So it's my first job in the IT field, which I feel like fits me a lot better you know, my personality and my skills much, much better than a sales job did. So I found a new job. I actually work for Papa Murphy's now for, the, you know, Papa Murphy's Pizza. Uh, I work at the corporate office and I provide tech support with, you know, a bunch of a small team. We provide tech support to all the Papa Murphy stores pretty much all over the country. Uh, yeah, I basically answer phone calls all day and emails and stuff like that and, um, you know, help all the stores with their technical problems, with their like point of sale systems, with their pin pads, with, you know, their printers, with, with all their technical stuff when they have problems. Um, we were basically the ones that helped them to resolve those. So that's what I've been doing for the past two or three months. I'm out of training now and something really cool, actually, I've been working from home for like past, it's been like over a month now working from home. Um, so I just kind of hop in my little office here in the morning and I hop on the phones and I have like a headset and stuff and you know, I just, I just work and I'm making a lot more money than I did before. Uh, it's much, much more interesting work and fulfilling work to me. Um, like I said, I've always been really passionate about technology, of course. So <laughs> I, I enjoy this job a lot better than AT&T. Uh, still a lot of really hard work still, you know, definitely over 40 hours a week working really hard. Um, but at the same time, it's been definitely necessary in my life and it's helped me a lot to put myself in a better financial situation and this is literally the first time in my adult life that I haven't been struggling and stressing about money like I, this is the first time in my adult life that I haven't been stressing about paying bills and paying off my debt and stuff like that so it's been really really nice there's still a lot of work that I need to, that needs to be done I still have to be really patient and, and I still need to keep working um, but it's been really beneficial and I've kind of realized over the past few months that I really really have been needing to prioritize my money right now, prioritize my career right now, you know, at the same time as working on long-term goals like my YouTube channel. Because, you know, for a long time I quit my job and I was just driving Uber Eats and I was like, videos, 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 I need to make this happen now. I want to create videos. And while I still do want that life, I still want to create that life for myself, I've realized that I've had to prioritize other things right now, like my money right now. Like I. I was, I'm tired of struggling financially. So that's been a really, really important step for me getting this new job and getting my finances in order. I actually just paid off a huge loan um, that I took out about a year ago. So I literally just paid that off the other day. So that's been really nice. 
and I think I'll be completely debt free in the next few months here and just start you know starting to save up money to invest in my YouTube channel invest in other things and just save up so that's been one of the most um, one of the biggest changes that I've gone through over the past few months is getting that new job and another huge huge change that I've gone through over the past couple months is actually way more significant than getting a new job is actually uh, my girlfriend and I we were together for like four and a half years we actually broke up a couple months ago uh, we both kind of kind of mutually agreed that it was really the best thing for both of us I can make a whole entire video talking about this to be honest there's like I don't even I don't even know where to start to be honest but you know long story short we both kind of realized that we really need to take a lot of time to invest in ourselves and work on ourselves and work on our careers and she's doing she's doing really well uh you know i'm doing really well of course it's if it, of course it's a sad thing you know people splitting out we were together for almost five years which is a huge 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 part of my life and she'll always be a huge part of my life i'm still really good friends with her i still you know hang out with her from time to time but yeah like i said it's been it's been really really hard um but i think both of us are doing better overall now and I think it's for the best, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's been obviously a huge, huge, huge change in my life. Um, my literally my day to day life is so, so different now. I'm working at a different job when I, I you know, outside of work, I, I'm not hanging out with with her every single day. You know, it's so, I'm not like messaging her all day, every day. So it's 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 really, really a different life that I've been living. And um, like I said, yeah, that I can make I can make a whole video talking about us breaking up. But Long story short, we are we're not together anymore. I'm, you know, single for the first time since I was since I was in high school. And, you know, a lot of the positive outcomes of that has been like, you know, I've had so much more time to to work on myself and work on my career and work on, you know, take care of my health and work on creative projects and like all these things. Like I really, really started to build a much, much stronger connection with myself over the past few months. And I think that's been really, really beautiful. And it's been really powerful for me in my life being able to spend a lot more time with myself and you know think about myself and think about my life on much deeper levels and you know start to move things around and make adjustments and work on different areas of personal growth and work on different areas of my career and work on different areas of my life so it's been really kind of refreshing and really nice having a lot more time to myself in that sense you know aside from you know you know of course I miss her of course I miss all the, you know, you know, the memories and, and things like that, of course. But like I said, it's it's been a positive change, and um, yeah, I'm not I'm trying not to overthink it too much. Just trying to take things one day at a time, and you know, try to you know create the best life that I can. But that's been an, another really really huge change in my life, uh, by far bigger than anything else. And another little change too that kind of ties back into my financial thing I was talking about earlier. I actually have a completely new living space now. I didn't move houses necessarily, but I actually traded rooms with my roommate. I have a couple of roommates. We live in a little townhouse, but I traded with my roommate. So I now have the master bedroom, which this isn't like a hugely important thing to talk about, but I just figured I'd share this. Um, so I have like a lot bigger like living space now, a lot more space for my dog to hang out and play around during the day. And I actually, the biggest, you know, you know, bonus for me is I have this like walk-in closet here, which actually I'm in right now, and I turn it into a really, really nice office space. So I have a, you know, super, super nice desk. I'll probably show you guys sometime. Uh, I still use it for kind of like some closet stuff here. I have some clothes hung up in here. Um, but yeah, I have a much, much nicer workspace now, which has been really good for like my tech support job, but also like I'm trying to create a really, really nice space for me to make videos and make content and make all kinds of different things. I have a whole bunch of sound treatment I set up, a bunch of cool decorations and like tons and tons of desk space. So I've been trying to set myself up to be in a setting in which I can make content and make art and make different things much easier. You know, like my YouTube video, I have all my cameras and equipment and lighting, you know, right in front of me, easy to access. So that's been another really positive change in my life that's happened. Um, like I said, it kind of ties into my financial situation because I can afford it now much easier to um, pay a little bit more rent to to have this space. So that's been another, another really, really uh, nice change in my life lately.
And yeah, those are really the major significant changes that I've gone through over the past few months. Um, like I said, my day-to-day -day life is just so, so different now. Like I, like I said, I, you know, I go to work and I work, I did a different job. I'm working from home, you know, after work, I am not in a relationship anymore. So I, I've been spending a lot more time with my roommates and spending a lot more time with my friends. And I've been investing a lot more time into myself and, you know, my passions and my hobbies. And I definitely, definitely want to get back into like I said, making videos and making content and stuff like that. And that's what I have decided to do. So from this point moving forward, um, I just, like I said, I just want to keep on making content. I have some music I've been working on for a really, really long time. And I want to complete that. And I want to share that with you guys. And I don't want to, you know, be able to share that on my YouTube channel, share that on my Instagram and other social media. And I just want to make a lot more videos. I want to make videos more consistently. I want to be more creative. I want to make more vlogs. I want to go on little trips and go on hikes and go on adventures and, and travel and, you know, just create all kinds of different content. And I really, really am making the decision right now to get things back in motion, to create more videos like this, to, you know, like I said, just be more creative and be more consistent with my, you know, content creation in general. And another really, really cool thing is even though I haven't been creating content the past few months, my YouTube channel has been continuing to grow. And I'm really, really grateful for that. My YouTube channel is actually, I have, I'm approaching 2000 subscribers on my YouTube channel, which is really, really cool. It's going to be nice to hit that 2000 mark for sure. And just keep on growing from there. And overall, my channel has over 220,000 views, which is like incredible to think about. I, like I said, I've been just, I've just been continuing to get views even though I haven't been posting much lately. But you know, those, you know, popular videos I made like a year ago, like my Uber Eats video, my top video has over 100,000 views now, actually just past 100,000 like last week or something like that. So these videos I made a long, long time ago, like a year or two ago, they're continuing to get views. And I just wanna keep on making videos. I wanna be able to create more videos like that, that can really just help boost my channel, really help boost my subscribers, really help boost my ad revenue and everything in general so I can, you know, create a successful YouTube channel and create a full-time YouTube career. So yeah, I've been really grateful for that and really grateful that my YouTube channel has been continuing to grow. But at the same time, I just want to invest a lot more energy, a lot more time, a lot more effort into creating new content to just drive that even further, to drive the growth even more, to drive you know, my subscriber base and my viewers even more. And I also want to give a huge shout out to all you guys for watching my videos. Huge shout out to especially the people who have been consistently watching my videos for a really long time because it really, really means a lot to me. And I, I kind of kind of uh, fail to acknowledge that sometimes and, and fail to appreciate that sometimes. But in reality, you, you guys watching my videos literally helps me to achieve my dreams, help me to you know, helps me to get closer to achieving my dreams of creating a successful YouTube channel. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. And I'm going to try to do a lot more to give back to you guys, a lot more to kind of give back to those who are helping to support me. So I just wanted to mention that as well. And yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on in my life lately. Just been busy working a lot, <laughs> working on a lot of different things. And like I said, I just really, really want to get back into the motion of things, get back into creating content. So I'm here uh, once again, back in action, and um, you guys should be seeing a lot, lot more from me coming very soon. Like I said, I just want to be a lot more consistent, want to be a lot more creative, want to create different types of content, share more things with you guys, and like I said, I am here once again, ready to go. And as always, man, it's been a really, really long time since I've said this, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Don't forget to check out the description, and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. Got plenty more coming soon. Your mind is much more powerful than you think. Have a great day. Peace.